Hey everybody, it is Tim Telling Tales, and <clears throat> this gentleman that I have here with me, you all have probably seen his work, and he's going to tell you a little bit more about himself and his work. So you guys, when we come back, it will be me and Mark Hunter. Get ready. Here we go. Hey everybody, it is Tim Telling Tales, and today we have a very special guest in the studio with us today. It is Mr. Mark Hunter. He is writer, producer, stage plays, movies, and he is here with us. He is going to be telling us about himself and about some of the projects that he has worked on and is currently working on. So everyone in the virtual world, please welcome to Tam Telling Tales, Mr. Mark Hunter. <laughs> How you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you? I am great. Yeah. So, I know you've watched my show before and everything. Yes, I have. And so, you know that we always start off the show doing a nice, fun game of what I like to call preferences. <laughs> I added some new ones because somebody was like, I need to hear some new questions. Okay. So, I added some new ones so that you can't be necessarily prepared for, okay. but some of the old ones are still there, y'all. So. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Okay. So, <clears throat> West Side or East Side? East. iPhone or Android? Android. What? Yeah, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't okay. Do it. Don't, we ain't going there right now. We'll talk okay, later. Android. I'll tell you why. <laughs> I got an idea. I got a. Oh, never mind. Okay. <clears throat> this is about you. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> laptop or desktop computer? Desktop. I knew you was going to say that. I'm in my that. office a lot. I don't. I stay in my cave. I like a desktop. Yeah. They run better than me. I had a laptop next to it, but you know. Okay, yeah. Uh, BMW or Mercedes? Mercedes. A beach house or a cabin? Beach house. That was easy. I ain't even hear no more choices. <laughs> Watch a sitcom or a crime drama? Crime drama. Eddie Murphy or Richard Pryor? Eddie Murphy. Aretha Franklin or Patti LaBelle? Aretha. Jay-Z or Nas? Nas. LeBron James or Kobe Bryant? James. Air Max or Jordans? Air Max. Dark liquor or light liquor? Light. Mm. Mm. You can't tell no. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Facebook or Instagram? Facebook. Instagram. Um, oh, Facebook. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Facebook or TikTok? Depends on what I'm doing. I like to laugh at TikTok, but okay, TikTok will be Facebook is you know okay. Kinda... Pumpkin or sweet potato pie? Sweet potato pie. That's easy. Hollywood, Coney Island, or Nikki D's? Nikki D's. What kind of question is that? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Frosted Flakes or Captain Crunch? Captain Crunch. Wheat bread or white bread? Wheat. Martin or Fresh Prince? Martin. Ford or Chrysler? Damn. Mm. Two bad choices. Chrysler. Oh, not two bad ones. Yeah. Don't do that. You pick Chrysler? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Shane Park or the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater? Shane Park. Okay. Another easy one. Uh-huh. Um, A convertible or SUV? Convertible. Sweet tea or lemonade? Lemonade. No sweet tea. Yuck. What? No. Oh, sweet tea. Okay. Uh, Tubi or Netflix? <sighs> Netflix. Okay. Honestly. All right. I'm going to have a conversation with you about that. I'm going to tell you why, too. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to talk about that in a minute. All right. Uh, regular Law & Order or Law & Order SVU? SVU. A beard or no beard? Beard. Yes. Y'all see that face? You look like no shade cat. <laughs> <laughs> and the very last question, Tim right. Telling Tales. Or any other Tam platform. Tam Telling Tales. I don't got it. There ain't it no is. More. Ain't no more after that. There it I is. I just told you that. You did. Yeah. You really did. Oh, thank you. You're that welcome. was fun. Okay. So I appreciate you uh, telling us about yourself through our preferences game, but I want to hear more about you. I'm not that interested. Yes, you are. Simple. I'm just uh, to myself, out the way, kind of laid back type of thing. Usually, like, the people who say 
that are the most interesting people. Right? I'm, I'm an introvert. Like I'm just so. I am too. Um, yeah, and I, and I focus on that a lot. You know, so it's really not a lot to me. Um, you think so? That's what you think? Yeah, yeah. We'll, oh, we'll, we'll, okay. Well, we're yeah. going to talk about a couple of things that I know about you, oh, and they're shit. interesting to me. So the fact that you sitting up here like, oh, I'm not that interesting, lies. Okay. Yeah, those are lies. But we're going to see what you got. Mm-hmm. We'll okay. So um, we're going to start off talking about um, one, of my, one of my favorite things, hmm. and that is stage plays. Oh, yeah. Because... Um, you are a very well-known mm-hmm. writer in the stage play world. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah. you've been doing it for several years. Yeah, about and 15. And see there, yeah, yeah. working with uh, Shelly Gary. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so listen. My very first urban stage play was Beauty Shop. You bullshit. No. Really? And listen, I was not supposed to be there. I be thinking back on my childhood, wow. like my mama was tripping, <laughs> like some some. That's crazy. She uh she she was yeah. top notch, but sometimes I would be like, Mama, mm-hmm. was I supposed to be there? Mm-hmm. Because yeah, that was my first stage play that wow. I ever went to, and I loved it. Right, I'm right, pretty right. sure I was like, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm do it one day. I'm gonna bring it here one day. I'm gonna you know. I talk to his daughter and, and, and talk to his wife all the time. So oh, beauty shop. I, I, would, I would love to do that for him in his honor. I would love to do that. Oh, that's classic. Yeah. That was so my I'm, very I'm first one. Do that. Mine too. Really? Um, I saw it when I was 16. Oh. You know, and I went and I saw it and I was like, I knew. I went to see was I, I wanted to be sure this is what I wanted to do. And I went and I saw it and I was. And for years later, for him to be sitting in the front row watching my play as I sat and watched his many years before was like a a feeling I could never explain, and I told him that. And he said, "Man, he said, Mark, honey, you the real deal." He said, "That's what he said. That's just what he said to me." He said, "You the real deal. You are gonna keep doing this shit." That's just what he told me. It's I like love that. it. I love yeah. it. I miss that old dude. Ah, <sighs> yeah. I'm I'm a stage play girl. I yeah. didn't even ask you that question. Like stage play or movies? Stage play, hands yeah. down. And you know yeah. what? My background is film. I went to film school first. Only reason I started doing plays, I used to go to Detroit Repertory Theater way way back. And um, honestly, when I got finished with film school, I didn't have enough money to do a movie. Mm-hmm. I could do a play, though, because I knew people from going to the Detroit Rep. I could mm-hmm. scratch a few people together and create a play. So um, that's what I did. And what I love about theater, it just gave me, I knew it would give me a better understanding of the process. Okay. Because you can't fake a stage play. You can fake movies. Yeah, when them curtains open, it's just you. You on it your own. You. you ain't no cut. and You can't, can't edit you and can't. piece it together. Got to improvise it is what it is. and yeah, get it is through what, it. Mm-hmm. So that's <laughs> that's what I loved about it, and it showed me how to become a better writer because I learned how to evoke emotion from doing my stage plays. Mm-hmm. I would sit and I would bounce around the theater all night listening to people. You know, I would just put my stuff on, just go sit and move, listen to people laugh, what they like, what they didn't like, and I would adjust accordingly. And um, so the plays are is, is definitely something that's in my heart, and something that I will always love, and I'm gonna take one out next year and tour it. Oh, that is so great to hear because, yeah, you know, with the whole uptick of um, the films and everything, mm-hmm. which I absolutely love, like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to indulge in all of it, yeah. but, oh, my heart is with the stage play. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a much better medium. It's uh, I have a deep love for theater, and a lot of the actors that you see now started in theater, like, all of, even yes. on a bigger scale, like the greats, like Denzel and... And all those type of people, they started in theater. And they go back, mm-hmm. too. Yeah, because yeah. it's it's a, a, a deep-rooted love. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I've always had it for theater, and I'm going to continue to do some. I got a really, really amazing stage play that I wrote. Um, it's called After the Pain. Oh, my goodness. It's a sequel to a play that I did a couple years ago called uh, I Can't Make You Love Me. I got a friend, and that is like one of his favorite songs. Really? Yes, like dude. Let me tell you something right quick. Jukebox. He gonna no. put that song in and it's playing. I was talking to Betty Wright about doing. <laughs> it. I was talking to her people about doing the play before she passed away. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't wait for my friend to see this. Yep. I mean, we I were really just was. playing it at the little the little joint yep. the night. <clears throat> I was trying to get the rights to the song. I was just doing the whole thing when she when she passed away. God rest her soul. Yep. Well, we gonna um, we gonna claim that. Yeah, we are. We Cause gonna I'm gonna it. be there. You sure will. We'll make sure you are. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm excited already. <laughs> you crazy. Okay. Um, so 
what stage plays you did mention that you did several of them how many have you done i've written 16 <sighs> um i've probably put on probably a, oh, more than a dozen i think but yeah, yeah i've said a couple i've never even put out but yeah okay and i know that you you write them do you also direct or yeah. i've had other people direct plays here or there but okay. for the most part I, I do my own stuff okay got um, you yeah i try to try to stay true to that part of it because it's kind of like you know my baby type of thing i understand yeah. i get it yeah oh i gotta see my baby take his first steps you know so. yeah yeah that makes sense yeah so that works for me okay mm -hmm. hmm. 16. <laughs> okay it's nice that's nice yeah. and now you've got the 16 plays mm -hmm. and then at some point you said hey i gotta put this film school experience mm -hmm. to work it, so yeah. when did that happen you How? know what i told myself i said i'm gonna do well before i started doing plays I said, i'm doing 10 plays and then i'm gonna start doing movies i went a little past that but um it just got to a point where I was ready to do plays and I'm, I mean movies and I'm like okay let me start adjusting so I started I had a couple of scripts that I still some still I never even put out um some film projects and then I got a call I talked to Dennis Dennis Reed he called he's like man uh let's go out to eat let's go talk and so we went and talked this was before any of this Detroit blowing up to this was before any of this stuff we went down mm -hmm. to Sweetwater Tavern we sat there we talked he's like bro start doing movies and I was like, conference. I'm looking at him like, I just was having this conversation with myself last couple of days, like going back and forth. Mm -hmm. And this is like a confirmation type thing, you know. But honestly, at the time, I wasn't really, I was still trying to get myself together and work on some things for myself. But that was a confirmation for me. So I knew that I was, it was time for me to make that, that change. And so ultimately, that's what I initiated. That's what I did. Okay. And yeah. that first film was? Mark. It was uh, semi-autobiographical, you know, somewhat um, little pieces of my life and some of the stuff that I've been through um, along the way um, on this journey as a playwright, filmmaker type thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, because it's called Mark. Yeah, so, Manifesting a Real King. Manifesting a Real mm -hmm. King. So that portion of the name of the movie, is that something that you added on for the sake of the movie or is that the origin of your actual name from birth? What? What do you mean? The like? manifesting part. Is that, that for the sake something... of that came to me. I started thinking okay. of, you know, um, you know, I wanted Mark to stand for something other than my name. Um, so that's when I kind of prayed on it for a minute. And then it, I guess God kind of just dropped it in my spirit, like, you know, a couple of days later. And uh, I was like, okay, that's where it's going to be. Okay. So I know you said it's semi. Yeah. On a percentage scale, how much of the film would you say is true to your life? I mean, a, a good, a good, a pretty uh, good portion, probably 90, mm. 95 percent. Oh, and and the parts that is not necessarily there's not uh, something that happened. Um, the other five percent is probably comprised of like, for instance, uh, the, the woman uh, in the in the in the film was actually like my girlfriend, you know, what I'm saying. But it also her lines were comprised of um, what other women in my life have said to me over the years. Mm you know, mothers, grandmothers, aunties, cousins, friends. Um, so that's what it was about. Like, one, honestly, one of my friends, um, she honestly made me start to do plays. She, I had a briefcase. I would write all these plays and i stick them in there. You know, and I've been like a serial entrepreneur all my life. I've owned some of everything. Mm -hmm. And she's like, you keep doing all this other stuff and God wants you to open that briefcase. You know, um, oh, yes, and my cousin, uh, India, we were sitting at her, I think it was one of her kids' party or something. And I asked her about it, and she's like, I'll help you do a play. She's like, I'll show you. I'll introduce you to somebody. And she wow. introduced me to Melissa Talbot. Uh, oh, God rest her soul. Oh, rest Yeah, God rest, rest her soul. She introduced me to her. And um, and and Melissa helped me mm. get my first play going and up and running. And I got the briefcase out and did some stuff. And she called some people and helped me. And, and that's how I got the first play up and running. And after I did it, I spent a lot of money. And I didn't make a damn dime, but I <laughs> didn't even, I wasn't even worried about that. I was doing something that I love to do. Mm -hmm. And so that outweighed everything else. And, um, and I continued to, to go and do what I wanted to do. Yeah. And I yeah. think that is what's so special about, um, Detroit mm -hmm. and even in that stage play world, um, because 
a lot of times the people who are writing them, directing, acting in them, they're not getting paid a whole lot of money. No, it's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money. So you really are doing it just off the, off the love. Moon. I did that shit for years and get a damn The dime, artistry. But it was just, and I'm still there, you know, like even with the film boom or whatever. I'm for the actor. Mm -hmm. I don't care about money like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want to be paid and I want people to be paid and I want to make something, but I'm for the actor. It's a lot mm -hmm. of great actors that are being looked over because they're not popular or they're not willing to show their breasts or their bud or, you know what I'm saying? They just basically is getting looked over because they're not, you don't have that popularity. And I'm, I'm for them. Some mm -hmm. of the people who I work with, I pull people from my stage plays or people who I know who put the work in. People call me all the time or inbox me. Hey, I want to be in a movie. Okay, what have you done? Nothing. Okay, well, <laughs> come back when you've done something. You know, like I mean, at least take a class take a or class, something, yeah. a, a workshop, just to show that you're serious about it. You know, this Tubi got everybody thinking that this is easy and it's something they can just run and jump in and do. And, it, and it's really not. It's, it's a whole lot more complex than that. And it's really disrespectful to the people who put the work and the time in over the years to, to get to this point. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I think that there is the stigma that is being attached to all independent films mm -hmm. as if they are all Tubi movies. Tubi movies. I hate that. Term. And it, it is such a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like there is definitely some films that's on there that you just like, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off right now. Oh yeah. I seen some but, last night. Yeah. <laughs> but there is still also the films that are being written well yes, there's some, some good ones on there well, too yeah you know considering the budget that yeah. they have you know but a lot I mean? of them get washed out because of the bad stuff mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah. so some people want to get to be a chance because all they see is the bad stuff then you got all those hidden gems that are on there absolutely that never get the exposure you know what i'm saying absolutely. and like for instance i'm gonna say like my film third degree and i'm not just i think it's one of the greatest films to come out in 2023 and i'm not just saying that because yeah, i wrote it good. because i'm i'm for um storyline Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm for storyline. I'm for acting. Yes. I'm for directing. I'm for editing. I'm for the whole overall project. You know, nowadays it's all about who got the best sex scene. You know what I'm saying? It's not about none of the other stuff. Okay, you got some great sex scenes. Okay, where's the storyline? Mm -hmm. There's no acting. It's, it's just, so that's all watered down for me. So I'm, I'm strictly, I'm just so not about that, man. That's why I just kind of, you know, and I don't think that Third Degree got the, the real recognition that it deserved. I think that um, that does tend to happen with Movies that, that have a little bit more integrity. Because at the end mm -hmm. of the day, what's more salacious is what people tend to gravitate towards. Of course. Even if they don't like it, they just want to see what everybody else is talking, talking about. about. So now yeah. they go and they turn mm -hmm. it on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they, they ain't <laughs> like the movie neither. <laughs> That's crazy. They saw the first you know, 20 minutes of it to mm -hmm. be able to tell that they didn't like it. Yeah. But they ain't like the movies. They just wanted to. But you they know, wanted to have something to get on social media and talk mm -hmm. about because that is what's the most popular. That's what other people are going to come and engage on mm -hmm. they post and talk about is the bad movies. Yeah. Um, but that's the viral, you know, like mm -hmm. people do bad stuff in movies or, or, or stuff that's just really crazy just to try to get a viral moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, this went viral because this happened. Okay, but what does that say about your work? That's only gonna last for so long. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a conversation with one of my friends the other day, and he was saying that um yeah, I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to put out my best work yet until I get to a different network. I say, well, bro, how are you going to get to a different network if you don't put out your best work? They want to see what you can can do, not what you're going to do. You know, they're going to judge you by what you've already put out. Yeah. So I'm I'm willing, I'm cool if I can just do one movie a year. I ain't got to do 10, 15 movies a year. If I can just do my one and do it the way I want to do it, with the people I want to do it with, that's all I want to do. I just want to make great films with great people. That's all I want to do. Third degree was great. I'm, oh, I'm thank you. I appreciate that. that. And we didn't go, we didn't really like do a full segue into that mm -hmm. movie because we were talking about Mark um, as your first film. But the next one that you did was Third Degree mm -hmm. that came out this year. Yeah. And it was very good. And it's one of those films that, and I've and I've been saying this a lot actually, because I'm watching very good independent films out of Detroit, mm -hmm. where I don't want to put the term to be on there per se, yeah. because I don't want to associate them with the other ones. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. I get it. And get they're it. really good. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that, um, that really makes them to be movies is literally because it's streaming on to be, mm -hmm. but. They're great films, and if you were watching it on a different network, you wouldn't be like, "Why is this here?" Yeah, it would fit. 
Yeah. It would fit on other streaming platforms. Mm -hmm. You could go watch it on the BET. You could go watch it on All Black. Mm -hmm. You could go watch it I've on heard that. Yeah. Um, Peacock. You could go. Yeah. You can go watch it in other places, and it would fit well there. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I think that majority of the ones that are coming out of Detroit now yeah. are those movies. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Dennis is doing a phenomenal job. Absolutely. You are doing a yeah. phenomenal job. Mula Films is doing a phenomenal yeah. job. Like. Um, and, and so many others, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. So y'all out here just, y'all making just, me just, so proud. Just trying to, you know, keep it. I'm like keep a it, proud auntie. It. Well, we appreciate you proud auntie. You know, just keep <laughs> on, uh, you know, and it's, it's, it's I hate that Tubi, ha that Tubi has that, that stigma, um, attached to it. But for third degree, I got several like offers from different networks oh, um, that I didn't take. That. And somebody like, well, you stupid, you can be on. I'm like, I, I don't care about being on a, a big network. I want to be paid at this point. I don't want notoriety or, or recognition or bragging rights. I want money at this. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this shit a long time. Like, I want to be paid for what I do. And I know my worth just mm -hmm. like anybody else. And anybody know I'm going to deliver. Yeah. Like, through my stage plays, I've stood outside of uh, the Fox Theater and the Music Hall and uh, passing out flyers to my shows at other plays and people coming out like, y'all want to see a real play? Come to Mark Hunter's play. I've been there and I've saw that. And people know when they come to my stuff, they know what I'm going to bring. And I'm going to do the same thing with the movies. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I've been just trying to get my um, get my rhythm in the in the film thing of learning who I can deal with and who I can't deal with. I mean, but my writing skills are going to be what they're going to be. Mm -hmm. You know, and I just got to be around the type of people who um, I can complete things with, not compete with. Huh, that's a word. <laughs> I mean, that's just what it is. That is. Uh-huh. You know, and it's, it's a lot of... I don't know, for some reason, we got this thing where we got to be in competition. I'm not in competition with nobody because I don't, mm -hmm. I think I mentioned to you a little while ago when somebody said, well, how do you feel? Somebody just jumped in this and they went right past you. I'm like, ain't no traffic in my lane. I'm in my own lane, going my own speed. Uh -huh. What God got for me, I'm going to get. Listen. Trust me, I'm going to get it. I'm not worried. I don't worry about nothing. I'm so cool. Like, if I can just do my one film a year, I'm happy. I say that about myself all yeah. the time. I don't be concerned about you what everybody else be. got. You can't be. Because I'm going to get mine. You're going to get it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to do 10 films a year. I can do one film and it hit like 20. You would think I made 20 films with the one. And what you see this, my next film mm -hmm. is called For His Love. For His Love. I have never in my entire life of writing took this long to write a script. I overthought it. <laughs> I rewrote it 50 times. I mean, I just I just got into this place and I just wanted to, it to be the best it could be. And I'm so happy to what it turned out to be. It is, it's phenomenal. It's okay. like, and I can't wait to just, it's just, it's just a first class and I just can't wait to do it. And I, I hopefully I get some, can take advantage of some other opportunities and I don't have to go uh, certain ways, mm -hmm. but we'll, we'll see. So how um, far along in the stages of getting it made are we? Have we um, done casting calls? No, I'm casting the... in a couple of weeks, actually. Okay. I'll be casting in a couple of weeks. Um, and, uh, yeah, I got, you know, I got a couple of people. Like, I'm, of course, I'm going to take my, uh, my my people who stuck with me, like, along this journey. Ursula. Like Ursula. Oh, come on, man. I love Ursula. Listen. Man. Hi. Ursula don't never miss. You hear me? <laughs> Ursula, we go way back. I love that lady, man. It's like go way I, I just had a conversation with my partner a second ago. Wait, out on my way up here, I was telling you about uh -huh. that. That's what he's talking about, Ursula. He's like, man, I told you to do. I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I ain't gonna say it because you know, I, yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna do it. Yeah, Ursula got. I just told Ursula the other day. I said, you got something coming for me. Cause so, listen, I to the truth. So okay, so we probably or maybe you didn't pick up on it. Because I would do stage plays as well. You know, really? acting things, okay, you know. Okay. And so, right Ursula and you. myself have uh, worked together. Really? And I absolutely love working with her. She was just like a treat to watch. She's right? amazing. And then if I was doing other stuff, like she would just shock me. Like I look out and she'd be there. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. hey. She, she's, know, she's an amazing so actress. She's an amazing she's person. Great. She calls me, we talk like all the time, and it's a lot of people in my life, family included. Ursula will never get off the phone with me without telling me she loved me. And it's like, <sighs> I, I love that about her. Yeah. That's my baby right there. And I'm going to see that she gets, as oh, far baby. as I'm concerned, I'm going to do my best to see that she gets whatever it is that she needs mm -hmm. in this business. I'm going to always try to create opportunity for her. Yeah. I always will. Yeah, and it's so many... Um, 
actors and actresses, you know, throughout the city who are that way. They don't get, yeah. you know, starring roles. You know, they're mm-hmm. not the leading person necessarily, but they hold those roles that they oh, do down. have yeah. down. Yeah. yeah, They don't miss in those roles. If it can be a supporting role, but they gonna lift you mm-hmm. up and show like a good yeah. role. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's the truth, though. That's, 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 it, I understand. Like you know, like even with Third Degree, it was comprised of some of the most talented people that I knew, uh, and the producer, uh, of course, that Nancy. Um, I mean, down from just working with the kid, Malachi uh, on up, you know, Nissa. Uh, she's another one of the people who who stuck with me, mm-hmm. and I was trying to create opportunities for her. Um, it was just I. I you know, and the funny thing is, I still haven't watched Third Degree myself. What? I've never watched either one of my movies myself. Mark, because I'm have so a watch critical. Party. I was going to do it in my backyard, and I'm like, you know, I, I'm just, I'm so critical of myself because I cringe and I'm like, I should have did this, I should have did that. I'm like my own worst critic, but I still haven't watched either one of them. Well, we haven't it because, you know, um, it's cold outside now, so we're going to have to do like a little bonfire. Yeah, we got to do something. We could come up with something. I'm going to plan this for you. Yeah, plan it for me. All right, we're going to have a bonfire. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to get like the inflatable seats and everything mm-hmm. so everybody can sit outside. I got that all. I got, all. I got, all. I got stuff. I got stuff. You got all that? I got stuff we can, we can work it out. Yeah. We got the projector screen and all that. Yeah, we got all that. Yeah, we got all that. Oh, so now we need to just have us a nice little screening. That's and it. That's it. We can put the guest list together. Yeah. I'm going to put myself at the top. Okay, that's, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put my whole yeah. book club on there because y'all know I read books. That's right. With a whole cool. book club, okay? That's the cool. whole book club can come. That's cool. It's not my house, his house, but... <laughs> yeah, but know. I never, I never, I just never, I never did. It, it just, I don't know, I just move on to the next thing, you know? Um, we watching the movie. Yeah, we do that. It's time for you to sit back and enjoy it like the rest of the audience I, I don't feel... Like I'm at that point to where I want to sit back and enjoy anything. What? I don't. I. I it's just. It's I'm just always want to enjoy. You know, and that, my boy, he tell me all the time. Mark, he tell me this all the time. He like, bro, you gotta learn how to start celebrating the small victories. Mm-hmm. Cause the, and I never do. And the victories ain't even that small while you playing. Yeah, it's you like, got films. Yeah. Come on. You know, and now films. nowadays it feels like with to R&B me, singers. To me, if it, yeah, that's my boy. I just got with him. Even the small victories. <laughs> No, the victories, because that's not small. I don't, it's like now, it's like, it's like the film thing has turned into like the rap game back in the day. Oh, you want to be a rapper? Everybody a rapper. (laughs) It's like everybody a filmmaker now. So it's like, it's not even like a thing. You know what I'm saying? It just feels weird. So I say, let me just do what I do. Let everybody do what they do and let my work speak for itself. Mm -hmm. So that's just kind of, kind of where I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm in my own lane. I'm clapping for everybody. I'm happy for everybody. So many amazing actors and actresses who are getting really good opportunities. I'm happy for them. They deserve it. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of them I know coming from the theater world. They're really getting these opportunities and I'm, I'm just, I'm happy and I'm elated. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But and I'm, I, I clap for everybody to get their turn, but you know, now it's, it's my turn. Yes. So, I'll, be, I'll be clapping. I'll be yeah. celebrating because I genuinely mm-hmm. be proud. Like, there's yeah. so many people and I don't know them personally. Yeah. You know what I mean? Their numbers don't be in my phone or anything like that. Yeah. But I genuinely be happy for them. Yeah. I just, I love to see people It's a win. thing, and you know, because we, we in Detroit, you know, we all about the hustle. We talk, we all about the hustle. We all about overcoming adversities. And mm-hmm. that's just how we are. We, that's Detroit. That's what Detroit is built on. So I, I love seeing so many people taking advantage of, of opportunities and, and, you know, being able to elevate their game to the next level. But at the same time, there's a whole lot of people just in the way, making it harder for the people who are really taking it serious. That that's just the fact of what it is. That part. Oh, they doing it. Oh, I can do it better. And it's you know, it's but you're not. It just turned into that, you know. But it's a lot of really great people out here doing some really good films, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm I'm proud of them. Um, like for instance, you know, I, I talked about uh, Thomas. Yeah. Um, I watched their film Out of Pocket. Uh, I watched it yesterday or the day before. Uh huh. Really great film. It, it came from Thomas, and it had Kyle Greenlaw, and it's someone who came out of my plays. Okay. And Thomas did play, so I mean, I'm I'm happy for them, and I'm proud of them. They created a, a really good. The film and, and I enjoyed it. You know, it out of good. pocket is on my list because yeah. everyone Check is out. talking about it. Check it out. It's, it's, it's really so good. Many, it's so many though. Like between reading my books and watching the movies, it's I'm a like, lot I have a do. list. Yeah, I literally a lot. Yeah. had to like write a list out, and I'm like, okay, so this gonna be my weekend watches. So I think this past weekend was the burial with um Jamie Foxx. I still ain't. I've been trying to watch. I don't watch that thing four times. I keep falling asleep. Really? 
I be watching good. that shit at one in the morning when I'm like that, been yeah. sitting up all damn day. Yep. But. So that one, there's um, there is another one um of Family Divided. I got to get Did that I watch one. That yet? Renika McQueen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, um, That's on my list. I got to get. Yep, I got to get to that. I, like I have all these movies. I think on she my got list. like Quentin Sharp. He's he come out of my. He did plays with me before too. He come from plays. And um, I always call him. Yeah, I got to check Daddy. that out. Apple Daddy. If I see him, yeah, that's somewhere. Apple Daddy. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, Apple yeah. Daddy. And then yeah. when I see Apple, I'm like, hey, Apple. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Yeah, but he did plays like, with me. You know, me too. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, so I definitely got it. That's on my list. I probably okay. watch that tonight. Out of pocket again. for sure. But I think the last few films that I was like on my phone, like go watch this, like go watch it now. What was, was it? the serial cheater? I ain't. I haven't watched that one. Yo, hilarious. The serial cheater. It's a it's a rom com. Okay. Did I think hilarious? It, I think I might have tried to watch it. I, I don't think I started. I, I'll be up late, man. I gotta start doing this stuff in daytime. Yeah. I, 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 have to, right and I really do asleep. be thinking that I can like watch movies at night you sometimes you at can't. the house. I'd be you like, can't. yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. It ain't gonna work. It don't, it don't work. work. It don't, it don't, work. Work. It don't work. work. That's why see my go to bed shows, I gotta stick to them. <laughs> I gotta put my in the heat of the night on on my mat. Like it's okay to go to yeah. sleep to them. I be trying to watch my Tubi movies sometimes. <laughs> you know, I get beside myself right. and it don't be working out. I be watching like I like watching Animal Planet stuff. I like watching tigers eat animals. I'll be doing that at night. I got Oh, that's gross. I don't care. Did you be having nightmares? Like no, I don't. I, it make me sleep good. Really? Yeah, the king of the jungle. You got to make sure you pick the right time to watch these movies. You know, you're yeah. going to have to concentrate and all that kind of stuff. Go ahead and put it on, you know, about 2 o'clock on the Saturday afternoon. Right. That okay. That's, that's yeah. what I got to start yeah. doing because I don't, yeah, late at night don't work for me. Yep, it don't work for me neither. Okay. So, we didn't talk about these other people's films. <clears throat> we have talked about your films. And um, <laughs> it's time for another game. Uh, you ready? I'm, I Listen, so. I, I'm for all of the shenanigans. Come on. You will come over here and be like, I'm so sick of playing cup with this girl, thing. literally. Okay, so we are going to play a game called It's Up There. It's Up There. And this is a Detroit drinking game. Okay. Now, since you've already drunk, I've drunk my drink already. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I already drunk the liquor up. I ain't even going to make you uh, take a drink. Okay. I'm just making you answer the questions. Okay. Sound good? Sounds good. I'm not doing my drink, but. Mm. Mm. We have a holiday drink. Okay, okay, there we go. Yes, it's very good. Um. Okay, first question. Name five R&B or rap artists from Detroit. Five R and B or rap artists. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Yeah, let's go. That's a lot of pressure for me. Come on now. Okay, Sada Baby, um, Icewear Vezo, Blade. female, a female. Okay, we gotta start over. You didn't say start female. Over. I did name five female rap we ain't and got R. Five female rap artists here. Name five female rap or R and B artists from Detroit in ten seconds. Start. Okay, we got uh P Dot. She rap. I know that. Um, 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 R and B. Do they have to have music out, or they got to be like a established out, out? Damn. Okay. Um, that ain't working. You for me. chalked it. Yeah, I don't. I don't oh my heart! Five. They could be like old, like back in the day, I like would Aretha prefer that and they Anita. Be, I would prefer they be current. See, that's but, what I'm saying. See, okay. It, you tell me five rap. You're art, my guess. Five artists we got that's that's out now, like. Like like more recent R and B and okay, I don't yeah. know why we switched it up on me. You yeah, because I'm, 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 I'm stuck. Cash dial, days low. Um, I mean, I have to cash. I thought you said like R and B. You said yeah, rap or R and B. I said rap, say rap, rap R and B. What ain't nobody but cash uh, dial? Tierra Marie. The well, last time she made a damn song. She is still an R and B artist. Don't play her. Okay. 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 <laughs> Okay. Girl, but see, you stuck at three. You can't think of no more. Nobody else is current. Like, uh, you want to go back play. in the day, we can go. Like, we can go to Alicia Myers. We got Anita Baker. We got Aretha Franklin. We can go down back in the day. You can go back to some Supremes. You, we got like stuff like Motown. Well, you should have said them when you had You want it current. Seconds. You want it current. I didn't like, say current initially. Okay. I'm old school, dude. I don't know nothing about this new him. stuff. I'm like old school. You just saying you could have went to old school. Okay. You didn't know. Skip the question. Okay. We're going to go to the next one. Who is the current governor of Michigan? 
I don't know. No, Who is it? Is it Graham? No, it's oh, what's her name? What? No, no, not it's the girl. Girl. It's the dude. It's the it's the not the mayor. Uh, um, you said the governor. The governor. Oh, that's the mayor. I'm thinking about. That's my Gretchen Whitmore. She's still the governor. Yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah. So y'all it's, gave me too much of that. Listen, love. it's it's both <laughs> in the studio, and I feel like they is helping him cheat. Okay. Ooh. Ain't nobody help me cheat. I know the governor is Big Gretch. Like, you know, I, I don't know why I think nah, about the he mayor. Knows like, Big Gretch. That's because somebody just told him. No. You know, okay. All right. You got that one. I don't like politics that much. Oh, okay. Well, um, <laughs> uh, what? Choose a player in the room to answer the following. And I'm choosing you. I, okay, who picked these questions? You did. I didn't pick these questions. The deck is loaded. Come on. With I, okay, what you here got? we go. Name the top four sports teams in the city of Detroit. Top four. Lions, in 10 seconds. Lions, Red Wings, Pistons. Um, four? I don't know. Who else we got? Shit. Like. Red Wings, the Lions, the Pistons. Um, four. Who else? We, we got another team here. This. <laughs> I see the Lions, didn't I? Oh, the Tigers. Damn. <laughs> I don't watch no baseball. I don't like baseball that much. That's slow. We're not. We're, we're <laughs> no, not. Re, no. We are not gonna refill my cup <laughs> before we start. She like rawr. <laughs> We not gonna restart. We we not I mean, restart. That's, you making me think like it's something else I'm missing. Like it's only four teams we got, so it's like you saying the four top. They the only four. Period. <laughs> Bottom, middle, whatever. Like, <laughs> come on, man. That was a trick question. <laughs> I'm thinking of something outside. Of my we got no soccer or no. <laughs> I'm thinking about this shit. Like, <laughs> but you said I'm thinking outside of that. <laughs> That was a trick question. <laughs> Be quiet, well, right now. Okay. No. <laughs> we do that because I. <laughs> we can't play no more. We can't play no more games. I am. I'm not fit. I'm not fit. I'm on games. You are ridiculous. You're not fit. You're not. I I agree. I'm not fit. I'm not fit for no more. They on there. I'm making sure you weren't trying to pull no I shit on me. I wasn't. I wouldn't do that. This is the face of an honest person. Look at me. That's crap. For top teams. We only got four teams. It's sports, so you we only got four sports teams. Ain't so you no should have named them four. No, I was looking for you something else. All of this. I want to do volleyball <laughs> or something, or soccer, or some swimming or something. You know, yeah. why she gonna be doing that now? <laughs> Every time I see you, that's gonna be like, no, nah, we good. Goodness gracious, Whew, this has been fun. Okay, what else you got? Come on. Okay, man. so um, we have been talking. <laughs> For a while now, yes, right? Yes, and have. so I want to make sure that since we've gotten to this point in the video, that everyone gets reminded that they should be subscribing to my channel. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> make sure that you are doing that. Because if you've made it this far and you are not a subscriber, right. I don't understand. I don't understand. So make sure that you are doing that. And since I'm talking about where you can find me, Tam Telling Tales, you know, on YouTube and pretty much everywhere on social media. I think Mark should probably tell everybody where they can find you as well just before me. we start talking about books. I'm just me, uh, Mark Hunter on Facebook, Mark Hunter underscore, I think 313 on Instagram. That's it. Okay. Just simple, nothing, nothing serious. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we're probably going to have you say that again before okay. we go fully okay. but i did want to of course talk to you about books because well you know i'm tell, the telling books. tales okay and that's you know what i do okay. i okay. talk to people about the books and things okay. and encouraging folks to read so i am interested are you reading anything currently absolutely actually i am reading a book now it's not like really a book it's like a more like a self-help type of thing it's called mm -hmm. stop overthinking Okay. Um, that's what I've been reading right now. It's like all these different techniques. I'm I'm like a, a thinker, but I realize I'm an overthinker. I overthink everything. So I'm learning these little techniques so I don't have to do that no more. Send that to me because I... I swear, uh, it's like, I got it in my car. I can give it to you. <laughs> I feel like I may want to 
it's it's like it's really really it's really good like it's just so many simple techniques to like you know because like it, i mean just dealing with like the pressures of life like sometimes we just tend to overthink everything you in these situations to where you gotta you can i can i trust this can i trust that can i you know can i mm-hmm. can i do this can i do that you know you're yeah. just overthinking everything and it's it's really not that serious sometimes mm-hmm. you know but me being who i am i realized that was an issue that i had so so let me I've been trying to read a couple books a month. You know, I just started this. So I said, let me just try to get into, uh, you know, a couple books a month. And the other book that I'm I'm reading is uh, is actually about financial literacy. Okay. So just trying to like be better, you know, with uh, with uh, with money and finances and and just understand it. I'm, you know, I'm trying to get into some different things. I've been studying like stocks and different, you know, just some different stuff. You know, like because. You got to learn to be happy where you are. Money only make you more of what you already were. Mm. So you mm. can't just get rich and think everything gonna be fine. And you're gonna be. You got to start being happy now before you, you know. So I'm just trying to get myself prepared because I'm. It's millions is about to pull up. So I just want to be ready for them. <laughs> I already know what it is. Okay. I'm just. I'm just sitting there. I already know what it is. I ain't worried about it. You've been dropping gems. I'm, I know what it evening. is. I'm just getting ready. I'm just getting ready. That's it. Mm. Okay. Well. For sure, I I'm so serious. If you can um, mm-hmm. give me that referral, because you Absolutely. said you have it in the car, which means you are a paperback hardcover yeah, like book thing. reader. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. I love that. It's, it's powerful though. It's like really powerful. It's like it's you, so many options though. Right now, you got you know paperback and you got hard hardcover. You got e read. You got audible. And, yeah, you know. Like, but I love a hardcover book. I used to do a delivery job, and I would drive all day and listen and read you know listen to books like, mm. that was a lot of motivational books like I, I never listened to the radio i did that job for like two years i think and i never listened to the radio i couldn't tell you one damn song that would come on but every day i just cut an audio book on and just listen to motivational stuff every day i like it yeah it, it really it really changed the trajectory of my life like it really did Okay. Well, you know, I re- I recall, you know, when we were setting things up that you mentioned that um uh, that you also like fiction books. And so, um as it is tradition here on Town Tell and Tales, mm-hmm. we um always want to of course encourage the reading and and push it forward. And so, I will be gifting you a book called The Man Who Lived Underground. Hmm. And it's by Richard Wright. Hmm. Okay. So thank you. Um, I, I like that. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm glad. Mm-hmm. And he is a he's a classic writer okay. um, from way way back in the day. I think when I was in high school and stuff, we would okay. read his literature and things like that. So uh, black male author. Okay. And um, it's actually I've a, heard that name before. A native son. Yeah. He wrote Native Son. Yeah, Native, okay, that's where I yep. know the name from. Okay. But um they released this book after his death, of course. It's mm-hmm. um a recent release. So okay. I want you to well, uh, uh, enjoy that. Okay, I'm I'm I definitely will do that. That goes toward my two books for next month. So, yeah, super, really okay, good. now when once you read it, I want you to review it and I want you to come back and tell me how you like it. I, I will. And if you I didn't will. like it, you could tell me. I'm gonna tell you. I don't do I ain't okay. gonna do that. Like we just talked, we had that conversation already. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're gonna keep it honest. But I, I would uh I would I would like that. That'd be good. Too. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> is it intellectual? Like I'm a it's like uh it's it is it is fiction. Like the writing. I know it's you know, fiction. but it's so I cannot say that it's going to be, you know, like a stop overthinking type of book. Yeah. But uh Richard always does great fictional mm-hmm. pieces that still yeah. has a message yeah that's that's that what that's what i'm looking life, for like i like know? the the fiction but i also like the message i just like mm-hmm. the, the writing and just like on another you know another level yeah he's like a profound that, writer so yeah. i i'm feeling like you're going to enjoy yeah, i like my mind to be stretched that's why i brought up like about when you asked me the question netflix i mean netflix or tubi mm-hmm. that's why i say that okay so here's the thing about that Net, uh netflix cool you know what i mean mm-hmm. but Tubi be having it's a lot of good movies on Tubi. Tubi be yeah. having the shows, okay? Because I loved Underground. It was the show that used to come on WGN mm-hmm. with um Journey Smollett and yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's yeah. on Tubi. It's on Tubi, yeah. It it's is. on Tubi. Lovecraft Country. Love yeah, that, that was show. Good one. It's yeah. on Tubi. Oh, you got some good ones on there. It's some good stuff yeah, on there. Yeah, they got good stuff on there. Yeah. So But you gotta know how to find it. You gotta, you know. You not gotta, really. It's the search bar. When you get no, I'm saying you gotta know it's there. Like when you get on there, it's only that other, you know, all the other movies out there. Just you know, every now and then in. they'll but if you don't know to search for it, you ain't gonna know it's there. This is true, I guess. You know, but I'll be searching for stuff. The other movies be there when you first get on there featured or recommended. It's usually like mostly urban, you know. I usually go to films. Tubi looking for something specific, though. Do you? Okay. And I'm going to tell you what else they got on Tubi. What? In the you. heat of the night. <laughs> okay. In the heat of the night, it's on Tubi, baby. Look at you, man. Okay. So <clears throat> y'all better lay off of Tubi. Tubi is winning. Ain't Tubi no is all Tubi. right with me. Tubi okay. is good. Tubi is creating a lot of opportunity for a lot of people who wouldn't normally have had that opportunity. So mm -hmm. that's my respect for Tubi. Yes. Yeah. So respect. Put some yeah. respect on their name. Yeah, you got okay. to. You got to put some respect on Tubi, right. man. So we have come to the close okay. of the show. It has been an absolute pleasure yeah, it, it's been having good. you here this mm -hmm. evening. Um, I want you to, again, just kind of Remind everyone of the movies that you do currently have streaming mm -hmm. on Tubi. Okay. And um, if you want to tell them about any other things that they should be on the lookout for, that may be other places, like maybe, you know, plays that may be uploaded to other places. They're getting there now. I got a, a couple of plays that will be uh, going up soon. Um, well, of course, uh, now the Mark movie, um, then Third Degree. And um, currently, like in a little pre-production stages of uh, for his love, okay. which is my next thing. And then I got, I'm going into my 2024. I'm really gonna. I think I've been a little laid back and just trying to get my scripts in order and get some things in order. So 2024, I'm be pretty active. Um, I got a series. I got a couple other films I want to do. A Christmas movie. Um, I got a mm. um, yeah. I got a, a couple of things that I'm I'm going to do. Something with Ursula. Um, I have a Something coming for her. Awesome. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna just girl. just get busy. I just 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 trying to keep moving. That's all. Okay, and everyone needs to be on the lookout for information about the casting, right? Yeah, the, that's we'll coming be, in a couple weeks. I think we're casting in a couple of weeks. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, the movie for for his love. So um, I'll I'll post it probably in a couple of days or so. Okay. Um, and I think I'll it be just got finished with the websites and something. So so yeah, I'll I'll let you know. So you can share it as well. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds good. Yeah. Well, tell us about your social media handles just one more time. Mark Hunter on Facebook, Mark Hunter 313 on Instagram. Got it. Yeah. And you all, since we're talking about handles, I'm Tam <laughs> Telling Tales. And you can find me on all social media platforms at Tam Telling Tales. All right. So make sure that you go and follow me on all of them so that you can watch. <laughs> Stuff like this. Y'all know I have my little short clips and all that good stuff and moments on the red carpet from the movie premieres. And of course, my interviews with authors. My book reviews are coming back, you guys. I, I've been hearing y'all and they're coming back. I promise. Okay. Y'all be on the lookout. That's going to be a 2024 thing. We're going to come out with a bang. Okay. So before we go, we got to do my sign off. What's that? Okay. So my sign off is I'm Sam. I'm telling tales. Read a book, right? Okay. But since you're here with me, All I right. want you to help me with that. Let's go. So I'm going to do the first part. I'm Tam. I'm telling tales. You come right in after me and say, "Read a book." All right. And we're gonna say it to that camera. Okay. All right. I got you. Y'all, I'm Tam. I'm telling tales. And read a damn book. <laughs>